Hello, welcome to video four. What is material, the feature level switch? This is a pretty simple node. Its intended use is to allow you to use the same material, but have it display different things depending on the shader level. So for example, we have our shader model five, shader model four, then we have our mobile HTML, Android and iOS ES2. So basically what it does is you have a feature level switch. It has inputs for each of the different types and then one output. Depending on the feature level that is supported by the graphics card will determine which output is put into the material input. So ES2, well default is your default feature level. If something is not hooked up, it's going to use the default. If something is hooked up, it's going to use that input. Now ES2 is basically your standard OpenGL for mobiles. ES3-1 is basically for like your metal quality level devices. If we go to here, preview, and then our different shader model types, when you scroll over it, it'll tell you the differences. So for example, ES3 is going to be our default mobile HTML5 preview iOS ES2 and Android for the most part are going to be your ES2s. Shader Model 4 is going to be DirectX 10, OpenGL 3.3 Plus. It's going to be most of your PC video cards, but your older models. But even your newer ones can support DirectX, uh, Model 5. Model 5 are going to be your DirectX 11, OpenGL 4, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So anyways, now that we covered that, basically how does it work? Well, for my example here, I have a texture. I'm multiplying by pink, putting it into my default. And then I have just the texture itself I'm putting to ES2. Now, this isn't our best example. Usually you'd want something a little bit more complicated here. Maybe you're doing some world position offsetting based on maybe some tessellation, something more heavy for your PC and then something light like just your texture without anything special for your mobile devices. So for the example, here it is running our Shadow Model 5. We can see pink, and we can see a little bit of our normal map working. If I was to switch this to our preview level, iOS ES2, you're going to see something much different. We no longer have the pink, and we no longer have our normal map working. Now that is because of this right here. Basically, on our default, we're going to get this result. I switched to ES2, we're going to get just this result. Now, our normal is something slightly different. This is one thing to keep in mind. If you do not have a default, it is not going to work. It's going to require something put in. So you can't, for example, using the feature level switch, have either a normal or no normal. It's going to require something. Well, in our case, if we use this right here, vector 3, with this value, this is basically a flat normal. So I'm putting a flat normal in as default, and then only for Shadow Model 5 will I put in an actual normal map. So once we go ahead and apply this, we run it again, load it up. Unfortunately, every time you do a change, it's going to recompile the shaders. All of your different shader types have different shaders, so that's something to keep in mind. Using the feature level switch, you're going to have a shader for default, and you're going to have a shader for all your other types because we have all these other permutations. So when we look at this, you're going to see again the flat. Now if we switch it over to shader model 4, we're going to see a little bit of a hybrid between. We're going to see pink, but we're not going to see normal. That's because our default from all of these, if you notice, we don't have shader model 4 plugged in, so it's going to use the default. So the default is going to be our pink texture, and our flat normal map because we do not have a shader model 4 input so it uses the default so that's it that is what your feature level switch is for it's primarily intended to allow you to have different results using one material on different shader models and your shader models are basically the video card quality the video card um, features the features that's why it's called feature level switch it's the features that are supported by your video card. For the most part, you can leave this alone if you're just using it on your computer. But if you need to optimize for mobile and maybe web, 
or older devices that may not support Shader Model 5, like some older OS X devices, then you're going to want to go ahead and do this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.